Good day everyone! Another important sense organ will be discussed today. So, better listen for you to understand our lesson. Good luck! To start our lesson, let's have the activity, let's find out. I have here two columns, column A and column B. In each column, there are pictures. So, find out how they are being grouped. We have a sock and the smoke coming from the vehicle in column A, while in column B, we have Sampaguita flowers and fabric conditioners. Based on those pictures, how they are being grouped? Correct! They are being grouped according to their smell. Column A has unpleasant smell, while column B has a pleasant smell. How do you think we can determine the smell of those things? Right, by the help of our nose. For today's goals or objectives, we have identified the different parts of the nose and their functions, enumerate some helpful habits to protect the nose, and explain the importance of caring for the nose. Next sense organ that we have is the nose. So nose is important organ for smelling and it helps us to breathe. What are the parts of the nose and their functions? So let's find them out. Others of objects are carried by air to the nose. When you breathe in, the odors enter the two openings called the nostrils. They allow the air to pass through and the nostrils serve as the entrance to the nasal cavities. The next part is the nasal cavity. It is a hollow portion through which air passes. You can find the nasal cavities above and behind the nose in the middle of the face. The nasal cavity is lined with small hair-like structure called the cilia. The cilia are the tiny hairs in the nose that filter and drop dust. The nasal cavity also contains membranes that secrete a sticky fluid called the mucus. It helps to moisten, clean, and warm the air. The last part that we have is the olfactory nerve. So what is the function of the olfactory nerve? It carries the smell to the brain. Upon knowing those parts of the nose and their functions, how the nose works. First, the other particles mix with the air and enter the nose through the nostrils. After that, the other particles float upward to the nasal cavity and those other particles will be changed into signals. So, the olfactory nerve sends the signals to the brain, and the brain interprets the signals, and that's it. You can identify how an object smells. Got it? Great! So again, what are the parts of the nose? First, we have the nostrils, cilia, nasal cavity, and olfactory nerve. So... Remember those parts. As we all know, our nose helps us to smell the things around us. It also keeps us safe. In what way? It tells us when something is burning and it warns us of the spoiled food. Therefore, for us to experience those things, we must do something to keep the nose working well. So how will we do that? Right by properly caring for it. So here are some helpful habits that we can do to protect and take care of our nose. Here's the first thing that you're going to do. First, you have to keep the nose clean. What can we use to clean it? You may use a soft, clean cloth to remove the dirt. Another thing, you may blow your nose gently. Remember, while blowing your nose, you may use a clean handkerchief or cloth in covering it. Next, 
Always cover your nose while traveling. You can wear a mask or you may use a clean handkerchief. Why we should do that? Right, this will keep the dust from entering the nose. Please take note of this. Blowing the nose too hard can transfer the germ particles into the ear passage, thereby leading to earache. So again, you have to blow your nose gently. Next, do not put any object inside the nose, especially the sharp and pointed ones, because these objects can cause bleeding. Lastly, just like the other sense organs, you have to visit a doctor if you will experience nose problems. In that way, you can protect your nose. Did you understand our lesson? So, let's check your understanding. What you're going to do is to tell whether if you agree or disagree in the following statements. First, nose keeps us safe. Do you agree or disagree? Right, you must agree on it. How about the next one? Celia drops and filters the dust. Do you agree or disagree? You must agree. How about the third one? Blow the nose hard. You must disagree. So you must blow your nose gently. Next, it is safe to clean the nose using sharp objects. Are you agree or disagree? Right? Disagree. You cannot use sharp objects in cleaning the nose. It can cause bleeding. How about the fifth one? Proper care for the nose keeps it from working well. Do you agree or disagree? Right. That is, or you must agree. Got it? Wonderful. Let's have this question to ponder. Why is the nose important? The nose is important because, first, it allows us to enjoy the smell of the things around us. Next, it helps us to breathe. And lastly, it keeps us safe. So with the help of our nose, it warns us if there is a danger. Got it? Great! That's all for now. Thank you and God bless us all.